Hi, my name is Sarnam. I'm a spiritual healer in Mount Shasta, California. And in this video, I'd like to give you a few tips uh, about clearing cords in your energy field. Uh, just so you understand, a cord is basically an energetic structure and it forms naturally between people quite often. Uh, the most obvious example is a mother and her newborn child. Um, there's always a cord. Uh, there, a heart cord from the mother to the child and that's a perfect example of a reciprocal cord because although the mother is giving love and nurturing to the child through the cord and you might say energy is being drained out of her, the child is also returning love to the mother and so there's a reciprocal relationship and that's a perfect example of a healthy cord. Cords like that often form between lovers or people in close relationship, heart cords as well as cords in the sacral, um, you know, the lower abdominal area. Um, but many times these cords persist after the relationship is over, people feel burdened by them, they still feel energy being drained from them. So I just want to give you a few techniques to clear cords like that, cords with other individuals who are living. There, are all, there also can be cords with um, deceased individuals or other um, beings or entities that are not in physical form. Um, those, depending on the being, can sometimes be uh, more onerous or uh, feel even more draining. And then um, there's a third classification of cords with beings who uh, rarely, if ever, incarnate and are, because of their nature, uh, largely parasitic. And so those cords you definitely want to clear. They're always draining. And sometimes they feel like, uh, kind of like a, a living being. Uh, you know, they have a sense of uh, life to them. Sometimes they feel uh, more artificial or technological, um, like, a, like a probe or a, a device. Um, in any case, all of those things are connected to, to beings at some remote location, if not in the immediate proximity, and they can all be released in the same way with, with these techniques I'm going to show you. Um, with all those draining cords in particular, the parasitic type of cords, it, the, the fundamental thing to remember is that a cord like that can only attach to uh, you might say a similar energy in your energetic field. So let's say a certain chakra like your heart chakra has become contracted out of fear and trauma well then a chakra that would normally be you know out to here full size becomes you know very small and you get this this area of kind of around the rim of the chakra where there's there's you know like kind of fear based energy and energy structures that people create unconsciously that's what these um, draining cords will attach to is the the resonant energy something that also feels fear based or you know shame or guilt those are other emotions that cause you know cause contraction of the the main part of the chakra and you know, allow a cord to attach around basically the unused portion of the chakra. So, so the basic technique for clearing these cords is to open your crown chakra to the divine light that you can feel flowing through there. A good technique that I mentioned in my other videos is to, from your heart, feel as much love as you can in your heart and send it up through your crown chakra, through the top of your head, right to the sun. Um, because the sun is a living being but much larger than we are and directly connected to the source, the divine source. So that's a good tangible way to make that connection with the divine source. And then you can use your breath to draw in that divine light on the in-breath and then bring it to, let's say, the heart chakra if that's the affected chakra. And then with each out-breath you can push out um, dislodging things like cords and also stretch out the chakra with each breath. 
when you get to the point where you have expanded your chakra, let's say the heart chakra, to its full diameter, to its full size, and you have this divine light flowing from source just beaming through that chakra, then there's nothing at all for any of these parasitic or fear-based cords to attach to, and they will fall off and dislodge. 